Hello YouTube, this is Mr. and Mr. Chicken Pot Pie with another airsoft gun review. Alright, so I'm today doing my shotgun. It's a P34. I can't even remember. No, sorry. Stinger S34P. And, um,. Shoots through every time, which I think is pretty boss. This, I'm warning you, it's pretty hard to cock. Um, like, you can't do it with one hand. But, um, the shells just go in there. I first thought that it would be like, you just stick them in. And you get two, by the way. Um, <clears throat> they are, it jams a ton Alright, let me just put it this way. I would not re recommend getting this gun. It, um, once you do fire the gun, they spread way too much, and one goes up, one goes sideways. I guess that's the point of a shotgun. Um, the safety is right there, but my safety is screwed up, so I have to tape it here, so there's no way I can actually put it on safety. And the sights are, it does come with a strap. And not safety goggles, but it does come with a speed loader. I got this gun for $60 at Airsoft Mega Store. It was between this and Spring M14, so I chose this. I kind of wanted the M14 more. But those are the sights. Um, yeah, I mean, you're not really supposed to aim with a shotgun, but the button, this button, that's what triggers the door and then you just take it out put your new one in these hold 30 rounds it says it on here um you can actually see hold on let me get my uh wind up flashlight here hold on um, you can see the holes, one comes out of each, sometimes it shoots two, and other times it shoots three, or sometimes it actually shoots four, but, yeah, it's pretty solid and heavy, I'd recommend it as a secondary, I believe it's like 350 FPS, so that's pretty good, um, I'd use... 12 grams, because you're kind of wasting your 20 grams, because it's not, 20 grams are meant for accuracy, and this isn't that accurate, so. That is it for my Stinger 34, whatever it's called. Okay.